so cool that we get to do this. I'm excited to be here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you for flying all the way out from Miami. Yeah. To call me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very honored. Like how all right. How uh, how how did you uh how did you live that on your on your hand on your end? Like that I called you and then we flew it here flew here flew in here to talk to you. Like how how does that like what did you think about the whole the whole thing? Um just super thankful and grateful that someone would take the time out of their schedule to come over here and interview me you know just not that long ago uh i was just playing music in my room yeah and all of a sudden i'm out here in nashville and people want to fly from <laughs> miami <laughs> to come and say hi yeah i know <laughs> yeah we, we thought it sounded a little bit crazy It do, it does sound crazy. Everything everything we're doing right everything we're doing right now sounds kind of nuts. <sighs> yeah. It, yeah, it's uh but it's 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 weird to have this this setup. I don't even know. I don't know it I don't know how to how to um, how to position myself kind of. But but it's gonna, it's nice. We're going to hang out drinking some beer. Um drinking some beer and it'll be it's going to be nice. The this this place the hideout Hideout Studio in in Nashville is kind of cool. It's uh, they have the whole basement of like a house, and mm -hmm. it's kind of it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat setup. It's pretty neat setup for what we're doing too. I think uh, it'll take me probably like a good ten minutes to like get used to just like the this and then the cameras and everything. Yeah. So I'm just gonna like settle into it. For sure. So. Yeah. That's the that's why the beer is here. Jeez. <laughs> that's why the beer. <laughs> <laughs> So how was you, David? You were you had a you had a, a, a training right for the chiropractic today. Yep, I'm a full time chiropractor here in Nashville. So I uh, had CEUs continu continuing education today, and uh, learned a lot about the shoulder today. Really? Mm -hmm. How does that work? How does a shoulder works? Um. Well, you got a ball and socket joint, and the 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 your shoulder joint is the most uh movable joint in your body yeah and it's a it's a very very complicated joint and there's a lot of things that can actually there's not too many things that can actually go wrong it's actually pretty there's only so many things that can go wrong with it and uh, we just learned how to do some tests on it to figure out what could possibly be the issue the 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 reason for the pain in your shoulder and and how to fix it Yeah, because yeah. you're you're a doctor, right? You're uh, a a doctor. I'm not a I'm not a real doctor. I'm just a chiropractor. A chiropractor. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we're, we're doctors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and um, <laughs> so, how did you like? How did you move to? How did you get here? Because you're from you're from Florida as well, right? Yeah, I was uh, born and raised in Florida, and uh, I was just driving from Florida to Colorado to do my chiropractic internship. Okay. And uh, I just passed through Nashville. And I saw Broadway for the first time. It was a Monday night. <laughs> and uh, we went down to Broadway last night. Yeah, that and, was uh, sick. That was fun. <laughs> and I was, and uh, yeah, so I never seen Broadway before. And it was a Monday night and I was passing through. And uh, it was, it just kind of blew me away. So when I finally got to Colorado where I was going, I emailed a bunch of places, and one of the bars, one of the honky tonks, got back to me. And uh, when I was driving back home to Florida to graduate school, yeah. I auditioned, and they they hired me. And here I am, two years, two and a half years later. That's kind of cool. And then now you're living, you're living off the music, right? Yeah. Living right off of living off of music. I've been living off music for probably uh, about like seven years now. Nice. Been living off of my music. It's been a blessing. Where do you see that going? Where do I see my music going? Yeah. Or like, where do you see? Where do I see like the money? Just well, like music in general. Music in general, I guess. What's uh? Because because you told me last night that you you just liked to, uh, and then you got here and then you started to play and then and then you just like riffed around. Or, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like it's just very, it's it seems like you you like that very much. Um. I love music. There's really nothing else that I 
rather spend my time doing than pursuing a music career. Um, now that I'm a chiropractor, it's just uh, it's a really good and it's just such a cool thing to have in my backpack uh, in life. And uh, it really gives me the, the freedom to pursue this and, um, yeah, and just, uh, yeah, pursue it. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then, uh, so where, where do you play, where do you play now? Like what's, I, baby, can we, can we, um, lo like lower the temperature in here? It's super warm. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah. Anyway, um, where do you play now? Like what's, um. What's your what's your situation? Um, so before I got here, I used to play like a bunch of breweries on the water, or a bunch of different restaurants on the water in, in uh, Daytona Beach, where I went to chiropractor school. Huh, okay. And before I went to chiropractor school, I was playing at a bunch of breweries and tiki huts on the coast, on the west coast of Florida. So that's where I'm originally from, the west coast. And then I went to chiropractor school on the east coast. And now I played a, just a ton of honky tonks, <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of country music. Went from, went from from playing on the ocean and playing on the water to playing in, in these uh, honky tonks. I le I learned that word yesterday. <laughs> yeah. That word yesterday. It's a uh, see. If what was, is a honky tonk? Well, it's a it's a bar in Nashville that plays live music, right? That's the. It's a bar that plays country music. Country music. Country. And, and if that's if that's a wrong definition, definition, don't quote me. But there's a lot of I think there's a lot of those on Broadway. Yeah, Broadway is kind of a weird, weird place. It's 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 wild what we saw yesterday. It was so it was packed everywhere, mm -hmm. everywhere. And the show we saw, the show we went, the last one I think with your friend, um, the redhead girl. What's her What's her name? Uh, that the the whole bar was shaking. Oh, uh, Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was that was sick. Yeah, we were on that rooftop and they were all just jumping. They were singing to uh, I think all the all the small things. the The band was on point. Yeah, the, the, yeah, that was that was sick. <sighs> and um, so, do you like do you like do you like to live to live uh, to live in Nashville, or you you miss Florida a little bit? Um, I love. I love Nashville. This is a cool spot. Um, I went home recently in Florida for about three weeks, and because uh, I was missing home, and yeah, I got there and I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I was like on the couch for three weeks. I couldn't get one dang thing done. How come? I don't know. I just didn't have like any motivation. I couldn't motivate myself. I mean, maybe it was because I was just like. Staying at my parents' house on the couch, maybe if like I had my own place in Florida, near my family, that would be different. But shoot, I didn't get anything done when I was in Florida. <laughs> Where's a home in Florida? Uh, uh Wikiwashi, Wikiwashi, Florida. It's on the central west coast. It's a uh, quiet area. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. Never and, been. Uh, it's so pretty. I love it out a lot there. Lot of mermaids and springs. Mm -hmm. Yep, and. Huh. uh yeah, but I love living in Nashville because one, there's a lot of stuff to do here, and uh, yeah, I have like motivation under my butt to like get things done here. Every day I wake up here, I'm not with my family, I'm not with my friends back at home, and sometimes the only thing that I can do is music. Well, actually, that's the only thing I have to do when I'm here because I don't have like a family, I don't have anybody like. Like, I don't have any close relatives here or anything like that. So any day I have off or any spare time, people ask me, like, what do I do for fun? It's like, I'm just, just grinding. I'm just Doing getting my music. Love. Yeah. Making it happen. <laughs> and that's real. You don't have to be here in Nashville to, like, make your music career. But uh, for me, it's a, it's very motivating to be around people who are constantly trying to make it. And there's, like, this culture, this guy this grind culture to uh um to make it in music versus like if i was at home you know it would, the normal thing would be to do like a regular job like be an accountant or be a chiropractor but here like people are actually doing the music thing so it's like yeah and there's a lot of there's a lot of them that are doing that are doing shows every really night mm -hmm. there's cuz we did a couple of bars yesterday and it was it was wild cuz there was sh there was there was live music everywhere 
Yeah. It was live music everywhere. And then all of the, even the last one, there was like four floors or whatever. And then the, there was shows on each of the floors. Where are you from again, Oliver? I'm from Montreal. Like, well, uh, originally from small, small town in, in Beauce. It's called saint Gédéon de Beauce. It's, uh, it's south of Quebec City and Quebec. It's very close to Maine. Mm -hmm. We're like 20, 30 minutes from like Jackman, Maine. Um, so I'm from there and then I moved to Quebec City um, when I went what well, after high school I went to play football over there and then and then I moved to, to Ottawa to, to do my university because I got drafted by the football team over there and so so and then a few uh, for a few years I was in Montreal and last year last year I moved to Miami yeah last year I moved to Miami so I, I know I understand what what is it like to to move away from home for mm -hmm. to, to for a dream kind of absolutely yeah so i was actually born in miami really mm -hmm. huh. i don't know if you knew that no i didn't, <laughs> no, I didn't know yeah, that i was born in hialeah in hialeah okay. that's not far okay from cool yeah nice i grew up in my like my whole fam my whole childhood was in hollywood florida which huh. is just like i think just north of miami yeah where'd you go to school uh oak ridge elementary school <laughs> shout out to oak ridge elementary <laughs> What kind of kid you were, like uh? I was a good kid. I didn't get in trouble. My brother got in a lot of, uh, like he he was the one that didn't do a lot of. Uh, I mean he 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 didn't go like he didn't do like really bad things. He just didn't listen. I was the I was a listener and uh, rebellious mm -hmm. one of you. We all played soccer. It was me, my brother, and my sister. We all played soccer. And uh, ah, excuse me, it's a good beer. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> No worries. Yeah, so you were playing soccer when you were when you were playing when you were in high school. Uh, yeah, I played high school. Play, I played high school ball, and uh, hmm. I would have I potentially had the opportunity to play college for sure, but then I tore my MCL in junior year. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. That's so uh, I was very lucky when I was playing because all of my football career up to college, I was not injured badly. Just hmm. like a few pulled uh, hamstring or here and there. No major concussion. Well, maybe I don't know. Maybe because I'm not very, I'm not very smart right now. So <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe I had a a few more concussion than I than I remember. But I don't, I don't think too much. No, no crazy injuries. So I was very lucky because now nothing hurts. I can move. I can move okay. And um, yeah, I still, I still, uh, I like to, I like to be active. I, like I can see pretty fit yeah i like try i try to it's hard it's hard because uh a few years ago I, I wasn't like i showed you yesterday like i was fat as hell i was fat as hell a few years ago what's your secret <sighs> it's uh honestly it's just you need to you need to decide when enough is enough first of all and then and then like um and then you need to you need to you need to you need to be aware of of what you're eating and uh that that's the, that's the first that's the first thing for me it's like what i it's like what i t what i told you yesterday is take into account maybe get my fitness pal take into account everything you're eating for for a week for a few weeks don't change anything um and then and then you, you can you can see maybe get some help i have a i can refer you like there's a good trainer that i that i've been working with he helped me he helped me in 2020 uh the photo i sh I, I, f I first i showed you was uh during pandemic uh 15 of april 2020 that was that was when when i took that photo and that was um that was a slap in the face man mm -hmm. that was uh it was hard to see because um i didn't i didn't see myself Excuse that way and it was it was very very hard to see um uh, so i decided to um, so I, I i was working with a trainer it's a guy from uh utah um, Emmanuel Balmus is a Romanian Romanian guy, I think. Um, it's it's good because I it's, it was it was very it was very cool because it was during pandemic. We did everything over Zoom. We set he set he set up my work up my workout. He set up my my food my food uh, food plan. Um, he was in my ass to fucking do everything, mm -hmm. um, and I it helped greatly. It was it was very very cool. I dropped forty pounds in like six months. Nice. Yeah. I, so I so I was like 220 to 25 and I got down to 177 175 <coughs> 177 
um, nice. without gyms. Uh, it was all when the gyms were closed in Canada for the longest time. So uh, how did you work out? What did you I do? Worked out at home. I worked out at home. Um, you can you can get by. Uh, I only had like twenty five pounds, two twenty five pound dumbbell at home, um, and uh, we could get by um, for a while on this on this one. Then 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 I bought like some some bigger like dumbbells to do some more work and then the gym finally reopened and then i was able to get back in the gym but um but it's hard man it's a pr- it's a it's a, pr- it's a process and then, and then and then something you need to continue doing you need to continue doing and it's uh, even even now i've i've had trouble with m- with my with my diet in the l- in the last few weeks because the last few weeks have been completely insane um and uh, the next few weeks are going to be even more insane because now we're here. We need to go to LA in the, on the 16th for a, a Hyrux competition. Um, it's like CrossFit without the Olympic lift. Um, f- my friend Tyler uh, invited invited me to to do that, and I was like, "Cool, I got nothing planned on mm-hmm. the 16th." Then uh, then then Whitney told me like, "Oh, we need to go to Europe <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> after that," <laughs> and and then I'm going to Canada. Uh, oh my for God! Christmas on the <laughs> Busy <laughs> guy. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be fucking insane. And we wanted to make sure that we could uh, come see you before we started all the travel. There you go. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, because we've been talk we've been talking for what for like a month, a month and a half, like something like that. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I rem- I remember I remember when I saw it, I was I was sitting by my house, um, uh, I was sitting outside by my house, and I saw that you liked. That you liked one of my one of my posts or whatever, mm-hmm. and then you were like alone, right? Because you have the blue mm-hmm. check, you, like you explained yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you're not like uh, you're not like uh, alone, like uh, you're not toggled with uh, a bunch of notifications. So, mm-hmm. so I saw I saw I saw your profile, and I was like, oh shit, this this guy is fucking good. And then I DM'd you, and he answered, and we we FaceTime, and I was like, damn, he seems nice too. So might as well, it'd be cool. Yeah. Um, and then now we're here. Now we're now here. Now we're here. And we hung out. Yeah. This is your first time in Nashville. First time in Nashville. Yeah. It's nice. I didn't expect I didn't expect Nashville to be this way. Mm. What did you expect and wh- how what did it turn out to be? For some reason I expect I expected the weather to be like Florida kind of. It, yeah. Well, it's been raining the whole weekend. Yeah, it's been <laughs> <fair>. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's been raining the whole weekend. It was it was it was a it's little bit cold. cold. Uh, but I didn't know because because for so in my head Nashville was in the south and it kind of is but uh, in my head it was in the south and I, I for some reason I figured the south of uh, the U S was all like uh, Florida weather mm-hmm. in 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 the winter but it's not it's not at all it, it looks it looks very much like fall um, like fall in 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 Canada and Montreal like but not like not December second like more like end of October or early November or something. I need to make it out to Canada. It's nice. It's nice. What do you um, wh- what do you have in mind? Where where would you like to go? I have no idea. I don't know. No anything. idea. What do you like to do then? If I think of Canada, I think uh, I want to try some maple syrup. Oh yeah, <laughs> you talk to the bright person for <laughs> this. Do you do? It? Did I tell you my dad was the one of uh, early two thousand. He, he he was one of the biggest maple maple syrup producer in the world. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I grew up. I grew up making maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, that's funny. why. That's why I'm telling you, you're talking to the right person. You grew up making maple syrup. Yeah. So what goes into maple syrup? Um, nothing. It's just um. It's just the sap from the tree. It's just the sap from the tree. Yeah. So uh, it's just so okay. So it's just the sap from the tree. Then, then um, we kind of record all of the trees into like a. a a distribution <coughs> system system with like plastic tubes and and um we have like a vacuum pump that um that uh pump like uh the the sap <coughs> to the main to basically the main milking the trees bil- basically milking the trees la- yeah yeah and then and then so that so the sap when it come when it comes like directly from the trees not that it's a little bit sweet but not too much mm-hmm. um and uh so what we do is we 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 um we kind of we kind of uh, pa- uh, put the sap through a process. Uh, it's a reverse osmosis process to to get um, to get the sugar level up, right up okay. to twenty something percent, <coughs> and then and then you boil it, 
and then you boil and then you boil it for a little oh, while. Oh, you boil it. Yeah, and then you boil the sap, and then and then that that distill um, that evaporates more more of the water, and uh, and then you left with uh, with maple syrup. And then well, you need to you, you still need to go you still need to put it through like a a filter system um, to have it to have it clean. But mm-hmm. yeah, essentially essentially that's kind of the process. So how do you take maple syrup and then you turn it into like Aunt Jemima syrup? Cause that's oh, the yeah. that's the stuff that I like, <laughs> the, the, the fake crap, <laughs> the the corn syrup. <laughs> that's what we grew up on here. <laughs> so bad. Probably that, in Miami too. Yeah, that's that's corn syrup. I feel like when I go to, I think it's like Crackle Barrel. They have like the actual maple syrup. Really? Yeah, I think sure. so. Sure, I think so. That's yeah, that's why it, I never really I was like, oh, give me like that fake crap. That's why I never, when I was young, for some reason. Um, I- even in Canada, it was super hard to have um, real maple syrup in 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 restaurants. So, and I, after a while, I got like so disappointed <laughs> when I was ordering crepes um, in in breakfast restaurant. After a while, that I stopped I stopped ordering crepes altogether. But I love like crepe with maple syrup and then like a few strawberries and a few blueberries. It's like it's amazing. We'll send Donnie uh, some real maple syrup from yeah. Canada when we go oh, this yeah, year. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. I'll, I'll, th- <laughs> I'll have That's it. That's your Christmas <laughs> gift. <laughs> I'll throw it on some pancakes. Oh, pancakes with maple syrup and a little bit of butter. Of butter. So, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I'm very curious. You grew up in Hialeah, yet you're making country music. Yeah. Yeah, so. How did that happen? Um, My family actually grew me up on classic rock so tom classic petty classic rocks nice yeah, tom petty and the heartbreakers i've been to like three of his concerts one in the womb and what's the uh, womb and my mom <laughs> when I oh. my mom was pregnant with me <laughs> okay and uh let's see been to i a, thought it was like a place yeah, or <laughs> 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 well, went to the, the room <laughs> <laughs> to the womb. uh we've been to a rush concert um, oh nice what else? Uh, but yeah, they grew me up on like uh, uh, Led Zeppelin, The Who. Nice. I remember driving in the car, and my dad's like, "Who's this?" And I'm like, "I don't know." He's like, "The Who?" I'm like, "I don't know, Dad." He's like, "The Who?" <laughs> so he, they grew me up on classic rock, and um, it wasn't until recently until I uh, discovered Tyler Childers. Really, Tyler Childers is really what? No, it was before Tyler. It was uh, Zach Brown Band. Okay. Zach Brown band. What happened was when I was in high school, I listened to, I played a lot of Jack Johnson. I played so much of Jack Johnson. If you know who Jack is, he's from Hawaii, from the North Shore of Oahu. I don't know who that is. And he plays some dang good music. And it's like really just stuff that you'd listen to on a beach. He's from Hawaii. Really? And uh, Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson. Yeah, he's the great. He's, he's, he's amazing. Oh yeah, you mentioned him when we the first day we this guy? called. Yeah, you. Jack. Yeah. yeah, there's Jack. What's your favorite song? My favorite Jack Johnson song? Shoot. I don't have one. The most popular on Spotify is Better of. Together. Better Together is pretty dang. Like yeah. if you've never heard Jack that's and you've never heard Better Together, you got to listen to that song. Uh, let's, let's let's listen to it. 